Shabbat Shalom and welcome once again to my Shabbat table. In front of me I have all of our ritual items for the three main blessings that help us bring in the Sabbath. I have two candlesticks, I have some wine and a kiddush cup, and I have under this challah cover two challahs. Now today, I want to talk about the rituals that are connected to these two candlesticks. Now there's quite a few rituals connected with these two candlesticks. Rituals like, why do we have two? Or what are the correct wicks and types of, uh, of oil or wax that we can use? But I want to talk about um, two customs that we do with our hands. Um, customs that many of us know and even maybe do, but we don't really know the reason behind them. When we light the candles, many of us will wave our hands three times and then cover our eyes as we say the blessing. So today I want to talk about why we do that. Well, let's start with the one that's easier to answer, and that is why we cover our eyes during uh, the saying of the blessing. So when we light the candles, we do something that's very special. We light the candles first, and then we say the blessing. This is opposite of what we normally do. Usually, we say the blessing first, and then we perform the action. We say Kiddush first, and then we drink the wine. We say Hamotzi first, and then we eat the challah. But here we light the candles first, and then we say the blessing. Now, why do we do this? Well, it comes down to the the law of not lighting um, a fire on Shabbat. If we said the blessing first, Shabbat would come in. The blessing is a sign that Shabbat has started. And once we say the blessing, we can no longer light the candles. So we do the action first. We light the candles. Shabbat has still not started. And then we say the blessing and suddenly Shabbat is here. But why do we cover our eyes? Well, when we cover our eyes, Shabbat has still not started. And we say the blessing, and then we open our eyes. And the very first thing that we see when we open our eyes is the result of the action that is connected to the blessing, the light of the candles which we have just lit. So we say, so we do the action, we cover our eyes, we say the blessing, and then we open our eyes to reveal the light of Shabbat for the very first time. So that doesn't answer why we wave our hands normally three times before we cover our eyes. And this ritual is a little bit harder to explain because we really don't know where this ritual comes from. Um, we have many different explanations for why we wave our hands three times. And usually when we have a lot of different explanations, it means that no one knows. So what are some of those explanations? Well, one of them is that we bring in the light and the energy of the fire of the candles into ourselves and we hope that that energy and that light will lead us through Shabbat and be with us throughout the work week. Another explanation is that by waving our hands we are actually summoning um, the Sabbath bride. We're saying, come on, it's okay. We're ready for you. We're ready for the Sabbath to begin. And another explanation is simply that that's what our parents did and that's what their parents did. And by waving our hands, we are able to connect to generations past. So we have two rituals, the waving of our hands and the covering of our eyes while we say the blessing. 
over the, the commandment to light candles on Shabbat. And we might not know the origin of all of these rituals, but what we do know is that as we perform these rituals, we find meaning, we find, we find peace and comfort in the familiarity of the rituals. We find um, energy in the action of doing something with our hands. And we find connection to the Jews of all generations and around the world who are doing these very same rituals as, as we are. And with that, in a time when we feel really disconnected from the rest of the world, when we might feel isolated or alone, we know that these rituals help us connect, maybe not physically, but certainly spiritually, to the rest of the Jewish people. So as we go into Shabbat and we wave our hands and we cover our eyes, to reveal the light of Shabbat for the very first time this week, may we find comfort in the fact that we are not alone, even when we feel isolated. Shabbat Shalom.